Bom dia. I'm John Matthews with WWF, and based in the U.S. Uh, but today, in early August of 2009, uh, I am in the Sahara, the great central savanna of Brazil. I'm both in the southern hemisphere below the equator. And I, I'm here uh, with, a, with a, a team of colleagues that I work with at WWF. Um, other people from the U.S. and also uh, from here in Brazil. And we're looking at some of the water resources that are in the Sahara. Now, because the, the Sahara is a savanna, it has a very strong seasonality in terms of when there's rain and when there's not rain. It's a wet season. And we're here, uh, even though it's in uh, summer in the northern hemisphere, we're here in the dry season. Uh, it's a uh, winter here. Um, uh, obviously, the temperature is relatively warm. I'm wearing shorts, um, but uh, but it hasn't rained for something like six or uh, seven weeks in this area where we are. Nonetheless, as you can see, there's a lot of water resources that's concentrated in certain areas of the Sahara. Um, the trees itself, the trees themselves, and much of the vegetation, the plants, um, uh, the grasses are really adapted for this strong kind of seasonality. Very wet very dry. And in, during the dry season, the water can be very concentrated uh, into, uh, into gallery forests, into springs, um, and uh, life itself in the dry season really becomes kind of concentrated in the areas like where we are right now. It's also important to note that we're at a relatively high elevation here. We're about 900 meters or so. Uh, and um, we're actually even though this is a savanna, even though it is dry, um, a semi-arid region, uh, so we're actually in the outer edges of the Amazon basin. Um, and the Tocantins basin, for instance, which flows into the Amazon relatively near its mouth, um, starts from very near here. Thanks. Bom dia. Uh, my name is Glauco Kimura de Freitas. I work for WWF Brazil. Um, we are in, in the Cerrado vegetation. The Cerrado is a savanna type of vegetation in Brazil. Very important vegetation and it's very particular. Uh, this vegetation, this kind of vegetation, um, has been developed, co-evolved, co with fire. So it's a fire adapted vegetation. So you can see here in this kind of trees, uh, they have this thick corks, thick bark, uh, that is a clear uh, adaptation against fire. So, um, and also we have this grassy substrate, this, this layer of grasses that is very important for the Cerrado ecology as well. So all these, uh, all these plants has their uh, major uh, growth uh, systems underground. So it, it is also a very important adapt adaptation against fire. So these grasses, they are very uh, uh, responsive to, uh, uh, to fire, so they are able to re-sprout very fast after a fire. Uh, also, the Cerrado has a very marked season, so it's a very dry season in the middle of the, of the year and a very wet season. So we are now, we are in the beginning of the dry season, so you can see the leaves is uh, falling, some, some uh, tree species, they, they uh, drop the leaves as a, an adaptation to uh, control uh, uh, water, uh, uh, water losses and uh, so fire is going to be maybe something that will happen in this, uh, in this dry season. Look at this, uh, look, this plant for example has uh, some signals that uh, the fire has been here for a couple of years ago maybe. And the Cerrado has a very, a very important biodiversity. It's more than 10,000 species of, of plants. Uh, it's a Brazilian hotspot. Hotspot means that areas that are very significant in terms of biodiversity, but are very threatened in terms of uh, uh, lose of the, the vegetation. So the Cerrado already uh, lost 60% uh, of the total um, distribution because of the agriculture expansion, uh, cattle ranching, and because this vegetation is dominated by grass and shrubs, as you can see, it's very easily to, to deforest and to convert into uh, agriculture and pasture uh, 
uh, economic uses. Hello everybody, I'm Samuel Barreto, I've been working in the WWF Brazil. We are in the Cerrado area, part of the Cerrado, but in the one other landscapes. We are beside the one protected area. It's a very interesting protected area here in Brazil. The name is Estação Ecológica Águas Emendadas. The protected area uh, met waters in this place, happening one interesting phenomenon. Uh, two big basins started here in one part of the basin comes to the Prata rivers and the other parts of the water springs comes to the San Francisco river basin and the other ones comes to the part of the Amazonia river basin and in this side is very interesting because we have a kind of the tree uh, like a palm this name this of this tree is Buriti Buriti is one indicator where have water here in Cerrado and the name is with the veredas of the Cerrado. It's a place where you can find water and uh, it's very important to protect these areas because when you can see the different veredas you can find the springs and one important area for you protect the river basin. But uh, this area is beside the, the roads. We are closer to Brasilia, the federal districts of the Brazil. Across the roads we have agriculture and deforestation is one big threat for the Cerrado because we lost almost 60% of the Cerrado. Is one biome is the very threatening risks not only in Brazil but in the world. And uh, one importance of this biome is about the biodiversity, is about the important head catamans are in the Cerrado. And the big challenge in our country in Brazil, like you know, is the development country in how we can to combine one different kind of the development where it's possible to combine the sustainable development with the social aspect, but fundamental considering the natural capital in this process. Large expansion of sugarcane and soy threatens the headwaters that are also vitally important to the hydroelectric industry in Brazil. Conservation of this kind of water tower is crucial. The Cerrado of Brazil is the source area of many rivers that are of vital economic importance to Brazil. And because they are the wettest part, you could call them water towers. Um, they are basically a source area that stores and releases water to the rivers and they provide this, this vital service. Uh, conservation of this area is vital for climate adaptation. Bom, 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 tá bom.